Hello everyone, my name is Steven and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Minecraft pickaxe in Blender. I have tried so many times to record this tutorial and something is just keeps getting wrong, so hopefully you guys will be able to see this one. Let's get started. So first thing, let's bring this tab out so we can see what we're doing. Now click on this wrench and click add modifier array and we are going to be adding a few arrays in a few different places and stuff to get the stick and everything. So change this value to 1 and it will go up at an angle just like that. Now press 1 on the number pad to go into front view then 5 to go into orthographic view. Now press shift middle mouse to pan the view and pre uh, do the scroll wheel to zoom out. Change this count to 12 just like that. Now press Shift D, holding Control, it will snap to right there, just like that. Now bring this count down to 11. Now we're going to duplicate this again. So press Shift D, and holding down Control, snap it to right there. Now let's do it again. So press Shift D, holding Control snap it to right there. Now it's going in the wrong direction so we we want it to come down. So how we do this if you change this to 0, change this one to negative 1, enter it will go down just like that and bring this up to 7 just like that. Now duplicate it again shift D holding control snap it right there. Now bring this count to 5. Shift D, holding control, duplicate it again right there. Now let's duplicate it three more times. Shift D, holding control, snap it to right there. Shift middle mouse to pan the view. Now it's going in the wrong direction so change this to 0 and change this one to negative 1, enter and bring the count up to 7 just like that. Shift D holding control bring it up right to there. Oh, Hold on. No. Bring it to there just like that. More. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now bring this count down to 5. Shift D holding control snap it to right there. There we go. We got it. Okay, so now we're going to apply the modifiers. So right click on this one to select it and click apply. Just like that. Right click on this one, apply, apply, and the same thing for all of them. Just like that. Perfect. Now press B and draw a box around these, all of them, just like that. Then press Control J and that will copy it all to one object. Now press Tab to go into edit mode. Press A a few times to you'll have everything selected. Then click W, remove doubles and that should remove a lot of vertices. Now let's change the origin point to down here because currently it's up there and if we scale or anything it will go up there and we don't want that. We want it down here. So press shift control alt C and click origin to 3D cursor. Now if we scale it will scale down like that and that's what we want. Perfect. Now we're going to scale it down. So press S to scale and bring it down to about right there. That looks good. Now let's set up the camera. So I'll zoom in a little. Shift middle mouse to pan the view. Then click Control Alt 0. And the camera will snap to wherever you are looking. Now right click on the outside to select the camera press N to open up the properties panel and click lock camera to view 
Now let's move the camera and we can do this by pressing the middle mouse button and the camera will move with us. So let's set it up right about there, looks pretty good. And you can shift middle mouse to pan the view, just like that, right about there. Now let's set up the material for the pickaxe. So right click on the pickaxe to select it and click the material button, it's right there, it's a little circle. Come up here to Blender Render, cl click that drop down menu and click Cycles Render and click Use Nodes. Now come over here to where this is at, click this little button and click Image Texture. And I'll put a link in the description of where you can get this image. Click Open and go find where your image is at, should be this one right here and click open image. Now we have to UV unwrap this. So press 1 on the number pad to go into front view. Press tab to go into edit mode. Click U project from view. Now let's split the window. So come up here into the corner. Click this and drag out. Now change this to UV image editor. There we go. Now click this little button right here and select your image. And it's really small so you got to zoom in a lot. And you can zoom in with the scroll wheel. Now scale this up right about there. Press G to move it and try to place it as accurate as you can. And you can zoom in and get it just right, right there. And you can press middle mouse to move the view. It seems to be a little small, so let's scale it up. Zoom in. Uh, scale a little bit down. Move it right there. And just try to get it as accurate as possible. That looks pretty good. And now, if we come over into this window, click this little button here and click rendered you can see that it sh this shows up uh, our image but currently the colors are just like kind of morph that's what happens if an image is really small blender will just like morph the colors together we don't want that how we fix this is if we come over here to linear we click that little window and click closest that will fix our problem there we go there's the material. We're almost done. Now let's close this window out. So holding down the middle mount or the left click and then moving over here, you can close the window. Now come down over here and click solid. We can exit object mode by pressing tab. Now let's set up the lighting. So right click on this lamp to select it. Then press 3 on the number pad to go into side view. I'll zoom out. Now bring this arrow over here and right about there. Now press 1 on the number pad to go into front view and bring this arrow all the way right there. That looks pretty good. Now come over here and click use nodes and turn the strength up to be about 3000. That sounds good and click multiple important sample. That will just make it look a little bit better. Click here to set the color and let's go for a little bit of a bluish color right about there. That looks pretty good. And one more thing, come over here to where the world is, click this and change it to black. Oh, and one more thing before we render, let's add a plane. So press shift A, mesh, plane and this will just stay right there for the pickaxe to stand on. Now let's scale it up. So press S to scale then type 100 then enter just like that. And I'll zoom in a little, a little shift middle mouse to pan the view and if we bring this arrow down right about there it's resting right on top. Good. Now press 0 on the number pad to go into camera view and we are ready to render but first we should probably save so press ctrl s 
to save and you can save it wherever you want and I'm gonna call mine minecraft pick X and I'll save now click render this should probably take about 30 seconds depending on your computer there we go that's looking awesome but as you can see like down here in the shadow it's kind of grainy and it looks a little bit weird how we fix that is if we come down here to sampling we can turn this up to like 200 and that will fix our problem also one more thing if you change this to 3 it just looks a little bit better if there's any fireflies on the render that will get rid of it now let's do one last render once you've done that you can save it again by pressing control s and save and I think that's it so once you save it click render and this is gonna take probably about mm, five minutes or so so I'm gonna pause and then I'll come back once it's done welcome back alright here is the image it's looking pretty good and on my computer it took about four minutes how we save this image is if we hover over and press F3 Oh, F3 there we go you can save it and I'm gonna call it uh, Minecraft pick X oh, there we go and I'll save it to my desktop well that concludes this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And if you guys have any ideas on what I should do a tutorial on next time, please tell me. I would love to hear your feedback. And yeah, hope you learned something new, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.